Yuna. We're going to Yuna. We're going to find the long lost realm of the giants. That's. that's. inconvenient. Yeah, that's just what I was going to say. house yes the woods with the blood red leaves south of the lake I know just where to go hope she made it back from Alfheim and can bring the mirror back see nice before you cut off his head Look at this place. This must be a branch of the world tree. Boy, stay on the path. Right, right, I know. I can't believe it was Balder that came to our house. The Acer god. Balder! And you fought it and won! Yes. One of Odin's sons, Thor's brother. And now he's hunting us with his nephews. Why is this happening? If we can raise the head, you can ask him. Okay. You know, it's silly, but I secretly hope we find a giant somewhere in that mountain. I guess they really did leave Midgard, except for the serpent. Maybe the last of his kind. Are you the last of your kind, too? Is that why you don't like to talk about... My kind? I mean, your family. Before Mother and I. Where you came from. Mother... a father? Now is not the time for that. Yes, sir. Fucking break! Don't hear me screeching at you whenever you're twiddling your short and curlies. Leave him, boy. No fat. Well, you already soiled my solitude, so you may as well join me. You're not hungry. Good. It's not what I was offering. Saw your brother again. Congratulations. And I'm sure you'll let him go and roger my axe good and plenty again, hmm? Let's see the damage. Mm, little canker throat wouldn't know proper weight and balance if it were dangling off his chut. Hmm. Is he eating well enough? I guess. Good. All better. Now what the fuck else you want, huh? Times he gets so wrapped up in his work, Sentry has it the sense to sip us up. And if he does remember, good luck getting him to cook his own meat. Guess I got all the stomach in the family. <laughs> Along with the smarts. You miss him. What, that spit fister? What do you know? I just mean hey, that... Hey, do you mind? Trying to concentrate here. 
Already on a break from my break. Off you. Where is with the problem? So, uh, you sticking around for grains of wisdom? Boy, what is the path back to the witch? First we need to find a boat. Do you remember the way back to the witch from here? That way, behind the big statue of Thor. What other stories have you got? There was the story of the mother crab, who scolded her son. She told him he should walk forward, in pride, not sideways as he always did. But she's a crab too. He should say, sure, I'll look forward as soon as you show me how. Yes, he did say that. That was the story. I got it. She's really powerful, but you really think the witch can bring a head back to life? She seems competent in her craft, and we have nothing to lose. If she can't bring it back to life, can we keep the head? No, but you may feed it to the fish. Okay.
now the door's gone. The witch's turtle must be standing up. Atreus, to me. I'm coming, I'm coming. I bet this will lead out. Smart. Boy.
Sand up there. That I drew the runes into? Not sure how we reach it though. What's that up there? There's something up there. Here. Boy. Sir. Okay, well, that's way too far to jump. This will be fun. Almost there! I can't jump over with those wooden boards in the way. Turn back Aesir. Guess the gods aren't welcome here. <gasps> there he is! I hope he remembers us.
boy, over here. Wonder who wrote this. How's it going, Charlie? Is your witch friend here? What is that name? That's what he told me it was. Or what it sounded like in my head, anyway. Charlie. Read it. Yes, sir. Death to the Raven God, Lord of the Hang. Here, boy. I know those roads. That's Vinder. When? Must be for that sand bowl down there.
Atreus, follow me. Be right there. She is here. It is so good to see you again. I knew you weren't dead. <laughs> Hello. Oh, can you bring a head back to life? Uh, I'm not sure I understand what... Wait. Where did you get those? The arrows. Give them to me. Now. They were a gift. Do as she says, boy. These arrows are dangerous. They're wicked. You find any more, you destroy them, understand? Do you understand? Say it! I understand. If I see them, I'll destroy them. It's all I ask. Forgive me. Please, take my arrows in their place. I have no need for them anymore. What's this about a head? <sighs> Do you have any idea who this is? Did you kill him? At his request. He claimed you could revive him. Me? Are you sure you heard him right? Please? <sighs> Take him to the table. Hey, Mille. It's been a long time since I've practiced the old magic. Hold him there. Let's have a look. Well, thankfully his head hasn't decayed much and his brain is still intact. Nice clean cut. Cutting off his head of all people. I sure hope you know what you're doing. Now, hold his head under the water and don't let go. I mean it. That's enough. It works! Let me see him. Mamir? You there? Yes. Good. Oh. Hello, Freya. Been a long time. You look well. What I did, I did for them. As far as I'm concerned, death suits you better. I'd bow if I could, Your Majesty. Forgive me. Had I known the Witch in the Woods was Freya herself, I never would have suggested this. Freya? The goddess Freya? You didn't know either. Sorry. When word gets out that Mimir is free, the wrath of Odin won't be far behind. You are God. Leader of the Vanir once, yes. But no longer. You did not think it important to tell me. Are you really going to lecture me about that? We are leaving, boy. But... Now. You're welcome. Why 
How'd you do that? We cannot trust her. Because she's a god? Have I taught you nothing, boy? But she's helped us a lot. She lied. Some people value their privacy. Best not to judge, brother. When I require your counsel, Head, I will ask. Fair enough. Get me to Tyr's Temple in the Lake of the Nine, and I'll get you to Jotunheim as promised. We know the temple. What's there? Only the last living giant in Midgard. Who better to tell us the way? The World Serpent? Wait, do you know how to talk to him? Indeed. He speaks an obscure tongue more ancient even than these mountains. None are left in Midgard who speak it. Except, of course, for me. You do? That's true. You wouldn't know it to look at him, but Jormungandr is a sparkling conversationalist. So, Mamir, why did Fr Where is spin your face? No. Speak of Baldur. He claims nothing harms him. Aye. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. The boasting of a god. Everyone has a weakness. Not him, I'm afraid. Baldur is blessed with invulnerability to all threats, physical or magical. You just said that, Namir. Did I? What is the source of his power? Well, as I recall, it involved, uh, a spell? Mamir? Parts of my brain must still be coming back to life. Just need a moment to finish waking up. Hope he's not broken. Mamir, we're in the lake. Perfect. Dock us near the bridge. Tell me why Freya spit in your face. Well, she bl blames me in large measure for her present circumstances, and not totally without reason. It all goes back to the long war between the Aesir and Vanir. Prior to that, wars for the Aesir were easily won, but the Vanir had proved their equal and exacted devastating damage. Both sides suffered tremendous losses, and for many of us, quite frankly, war was simply no fun anymore. But a rather senseless waste of precious life. Wouldn't you agree, brother? Mm. Precisely. Enough was enough. And at last, Odin's most brilliant advisor became determined to find a more enlightened path. 
he set about to broker a peace between the gods. Took some convincing, but ultimately Odin was persuaded to marry his deadliest enemy, a certain Vanir goddess, legendary not only for her fertile beauty, but her genius at the very Vanir magic that Odin had long aspired to master. Freya married Odin? Enough. No stories. Not while on foot. Our focus is the road. Completely understand. I'll finish later, lad. Gvegia. spirit who wants something from us. How unexpected. What's wrong? I came to this lake with a group of tradesmen, seeking refuge from the desolation. But how could we know it was even worse at the Lake of Nine? We cannot undo your mistakes, spirit. I know that. But I fear for my captain and crew. I believe they are still under the water. Will you find them for me? Is there anything you can offer us in return? I... I have little to offer. Oh. Well, I'm not sure... Wait! I died wearing a valuable family heirloom. It's yours, if you promise to find my crew. Deal. Thank you. You are learning. Why didn't you or Mom ever tell me about the desolation? I won't speak for your mother. But it was never my concern, nor should it be yours. Doesn't it concern us if everything around us is dying? Our only concern is reaching Jotunheim. Really? Then why are we exploring all these islands? The resources we find improve our equipment. If we stray from the path, it is only to prepare ourselves for the journey ahead. I can live with that if it means we keep exploring. And helping others. in the middle of a story before. How would Freya agree to marry Odin? What was in it for her? It was a sacrifice to protect her people. A selfless act of love. Truly, she deserves better than she got. But of course, there's more to that story. How do we speak to the serpent? There's a horn on a platform at the middle point of the bridge. Take me to it. Finally! That horn! Good. Now put my lips to the horn. Why is he 
had that statue made in honor of Thor. And seeing as the world serpent absolutely abhors the fat dauber, he was probably sick of looking at it. But doesn't that hurt? Well, he and Thor have a bit of an unpleasant history between them. Or they will, anyway. So I guess waking up to see it was worse than the thought of lumps of solid stone passing through his gullet. You want me to ask him? No. Our only concern is Jotunheim. <laughs> Members me. Why are you? Oh no, that's not right. Eh. Mokuno Huntunku. the pain of your loss. He will help you. Curious. What is it? Oh, nothing to be concerned about. What is he doing? Making sure we're heading in the right direction. Listen closely now. We need two things to get us into the land of the giants. First, we need to learn the travel rune that opens realm travel to Jotunheim. Second, we need to carve that rune into the special gateway. Is that one of the peak where we first met you? Correct. Except the giants, in their infinite wisdom, saw to it that no ordinary chisel would do the job. Only the tip of a magical chisel opens that gate. Luckily, I know where it is. And it's not far. He looks kind of mad for a moment, then. Now that... You thought I said you were friends of Odin. You'll forgive me. I've never spoken the ancient tongue sober. Wait, look! The water's dropped even further. You can see more of the realm towers and statues. I haven't seen new places to explore along the shore. Where is this chisel? Find me a boat, and we'll go from there. 